It's week 15 of the NFL, and this one features the Saints' rookie quarterback. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Saints and the Commanders just ahead on EA Sports. What better way to start off the app? So the Saints offense taking over for the first time here. They'll be led out by the pilots of this offense, their rookie quarterback from Michigan. A 400-plus yard passing day, it takes everybody. It takes protection. It takes your eligible playmakers to make those catches and gain your yards. But it also takes a red-hot quarterback playing with tremendous confidence and belief in what he can do. Now, well, his teammates will count on him to do it again. Pride getting it to Chris Olave. So it's second down coming up. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. Bails out of the pocket quick. Down the run right, throwing deep down the side. Really pushing the envelope on second down, but the deep shot doesn't work. First time this game they've looked to him. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. He'll throw it. Forced out to his right. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. Obviously, a defense wants to take away all the reads and prevent any kind of big throw for the first down. Fine. Well, this QB, he'll just lower his head and gash the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. Down the run right. That one's cut at the 10 yard line. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints don't need long to take a 6 0 lead. Chris Olave with the touchdown. So no mistaking that play call, Brock. They send everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you'd think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Vacates quickly left side. And this is going to end up incomplete. He really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. This one misses the tight end. So second down coming up. He's dropping back to throw. He can run it. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. A big 34-yard pickup there. And the Saints are going to have a first down. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. They'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. To the air now on first and ten. On the move, headed right. And he's calling his own number again. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints make it a 12-point game in the first. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Eight. 
Jets headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And his touchdown, another one for him this season as he continues to sit among the NFL's best at punching it in himself this year. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Rolling left, buying some time. Oh, look at this, here he goes. It's a huge pickup on the play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. Well, the field opened up and he simply takes off. Even in today's NFL, where dual threat quarterbacks are everywhere, it's not often a guy can rip off a run like that. Offense set for a first and ten. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. A diving effort, what a catch. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Working inside the red zone. Buys time, rolling right. He's on the move. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints go up by 12. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down. Didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind. But you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And it's been such an incredible season for him. As we play our final month of football, he's leading the NFL in passing yards. Airing it out to start this drive. He takes it himself. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for a QB to inspire the guys around him. Calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. This is Alvin Kamara with it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They pick up 20 yards there, and the Saints are going to have a first down. On my play sheet, Kate, I've got draws and screens in the same area. Those are the areas you want to attack a defense when they're getting too far upfield. That defense got upfield, and that draw did the rest. Flush down out to his left. Oh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch, and it sets up second down. He's going to throw this one. He's on the move. He's got it at the five. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints grow their lead just before halftime. It is a word broadcasters hesitate to use for a lot of reasons, but four touchdowns in four drives, Brock. I think we can throw it out here. Perfection thus far. Yeah, this game will humble you at this level. I mean, this is the best of the best play in it, and you don't normally see this kind of execution and this kind of efficiency, so I understand that word perfection. I will remind everybody, though, it's not how you start. It's how you finish.
Saints ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And it's been impossible to contain this guy as both a passer and a runner all season. Late in the year, look, he's the leader among quarterbacks in rushing yards. They're going to start on the ground with Kamara. Escapes a defender. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. To throw it on first down. Chased out to his right. Connects with Johnson. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints grow the lead coming out of halftime. Well, as they drive forward to one right now, looks like it should be a win, Brock. He sure has taken advantage of a nice little chance to boost his stat line. His second touchdown of the game. Yeah, you just kind of feel these two building some trust, right? Just more and more equity, certainly paying dividends in this one, but more than likely for more games to come. So the Saints offense staying on the fields. They're going for two. The Saints will line up for the two. He's throwing for it! Rolling out to his left. And he's into the end zone. That play adds a couple more to their lead. Well, that right there was a beautiful bit of short field artistry, partner. Netting them a couple more points following the touchdown. I love that word, artistry. Because that's what you are as a quarterback. Mm -hmm. You have got to sometimes create a picture when there is none there. And this QB, more than capable of doing it, that just so infuses everyone around you with so much confidence, because it didn't have to be perfect. He could scramble and still find a way to create one heck of a beautiful painting. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. Kamara gets it on the draw. Still finding room past the 45. Finds a seam. Left side is off to the races. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. The Saints make it a three-possession game. Alvin Kamara, the touchdown. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. And unsurprisingly, Brock, a great day on the scoreboard so far for him. Has him with the advantage as we move through this third quarter. Back in his own end zone, looking to throw. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. Tried getting it to Chris Olave. So that brings up second down. Throwing again from their own end zone now. Oh, they're on him, and he's dropped again. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. From his own end zone on third and long. Oh, he's going to run for it. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Well, when this guy's got it going on on the ground, Brock, there isn't a more exciting player on the fields. And he has certainly been the most fun to watch in this one. Yeah, he's been fun for you and me, Kate, but not this defense. You know, I remember asking Pete Carroll some years ago, 
Is it harder than ever to play defense right now because of all the rules and regulations and everything else? He said, oh, yeah. And throw in these dual threat quarterbacks, they're a nightmare as well. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. New set of downs for him from the 46. Back to pass on first and 10. Escapes the pocket. Now here he goes. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. And we'll pause here for an injured Saints player. Looks like he's pretty shaken up. They'll get someone out to look at him. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Throwing from the gun here. He fires one deep down the middle. Had the window to go deep, but just couldn't make it happen. Now it's third down. The trajectory of that ball changes while it's in flight. I'll tell you this, Kate. On shorter throws, these receivers are so good to adjust, can still bring it in. But over a long distance, a tip like that alters the course of the ball, and it sure makes it tough to adjust in time. He's running for it. And he gets back to the line, but no more. Look at the quarterback's eyes. He's looking, he's looking, he's trying to find a lane of some kind, but there was nowhere to go. And he was lucky to get back to the line before that defense closed in. It to start this drive. He's keeping it. Jukes one defender. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets him up with first and goal. So not with his arm, but with his legs that he enters the record book, partner. That's the most rushing yards in a game for a quarterback. I know, Kate, you and I share this thought. On any given game day, we get a chance to see something never done before. History made. And this QB and his legs in particular got it done today. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. From the red zone now. He brings it in. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints keep adding to that fourth quarter lead. Well, Brock, not much to say other than the fact that this offense on point, they are just clicking today. Just roll. I mean, this, this is clinic. This is what I call teaching tape. Being well prepared, and more importantly, going out there and executing at a high level. And this might be a free play. Let's see what they do. Forced out to his right. He tucks it and takes off. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the field. Offside, defense. Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. Still first down. A first and five to begin this drive following the penalty. 
Back to throw. Gets this to Johnson. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. This game has already been a good one for him, Brock. And hey, there's still time he could add on even more. And you just feel his aggressive mindset all game long. As long as there's time left, he's going to want to... And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints put up even more points in a win. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Oh, look at this. He's setting up to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Find some time left. He finds Johnson. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints keep adding to that fourth quarter lead. So an exclamation point there. That caps off what, and I think you'd agree, Brock, has been a dominating performance. Yeah, I would. Really in all phases, too. You know, I thought yeah. coming in that this would be a much closer game than how it's turned out to be. And you got to give credit where it's due. This offense has been outstanding throughout. Mm -hmm. to their total here in the penultimate month of the campaign. 